It's June 26th and this is my fourth garden update of the season and uh, we're going to talk about the tomatoes first. The tomatoes are close to three feet tall, some of them, and I'm going to show you what I do with the suckers. First of all, on these big suckers like this, you got to take those out, but I uh, cut them off. I don't try to break them out because I don't want to damage the stem. All right, so these I'll cut. I don't have any little ones on here. They're mostly big ones now. Here's a little one right in there. So I'll just pinch that off, get rid of it. Now the other thing you want to watch out for is down here at the bottom, these will start growing out again. So you want to get rid of those. Otherwise, if you ignore the bottom of the plant, you'll have two or three of these uh, shoots coming up and then uh, it'll be a mess. I'm, I'm working to keep all these just one stem growing up the, the line. And uh, my previous years of uh, growing tomatoes, I've used cages. And the cages, while they're nice and easy to use and all that stuff, what happens is the tomatoes will grow in between uh, the, the fencing and they'll get stuck there and they'll be worthless. But uh, the other part of that is I have to put them away every year. What I've done this year is I've used the steel reinforcing, uh, or not steel reinforcing, it's the uh, electrical conduit pipe and string. And so the reason I did this is because the pipe will be easy to take apart and, to, uh, and store for the winter. And then the other thing is I take this and I wrap the tomato plant around the string like this and I use the leaves to help keep it in place. So as they grow, that's how I do that. And it's nice, neat, tomatoes grow straight up and down and I don't have to worry about reaching in and out of the cages because uh, I did the uh, circle cages in there and uh, it was just hard to work with. Something else I want to show you I did. I put my pipes on the inside. There's um, half inch rebar under here is a two foot long uh, length and I pounded into the ground. The rebar is probably up to about here and I slid the pipe down over there. The problem is that the pipe slips down into the ground and uh, shortens this up and then these strings the strings all of a sudden get really slack so I don't want to do that so what I did I got these little brackets here these little pipe brackets and I screwed them up I pulled the pipe up so that the strings were uh, tight again not too tight um, but I took the slack out of them and I screwed those in you can get those for like 50 cents at a like a true value hardware store or something like that but that'll keep the uh, the pipe from sliding down into the ground and uh, keep your supports a lot better too my peas have just gone nuts this year. Um, last year they got about 30 inches, uh, 36 inches or so. Uh, I planted them in the fall. But uh, these spring peas are just, uh, it's nuts. Anyway, so what I had to do, they grew so much that I had to put a two and a half foot extension on here um, just to support them. The other thing I do to support is I take the string and as they grow I've been wrapping it around to hold them in place because if I don't, then a strong wind or rain will, will uh, damage them, knock them over and all that and make a mess of things. So with my peas, I like to pick them when they're like this, when they're just starting to fill out. Some people like to pick them when they're really thin. Other people want to develop them, so let them develop so they get peas out of them. But we like to do this. So as they grow, I'm going to let them go maybe a foot above the pole as far as I can reach and then I'll snip them off so they don't grow any farther. But I've gotten uh, quite a few peas out of this so far. The onions are starting to bulb up. These are the ones I planted from seeds. You can see they're yep, starting to bulb up. Anyway, one of the things I've done is I, I trim my onions, onion greens here. So I trim them back to about here. I want to do that the entire time I want to keep them the same length, maybe about 18 inches tall. And because what happens is like this one, they get top heavy and then they bend over and break and then they don't do the onion any good. So the carrots are about a week uh, and a half or so away from being harvested. They're getting up there. Right now I've got right in there you can see got that carrot in there looking pretty good. Yep, there it is. So I'll be harvesting them pretty quick. The onions that I transplanted from the uh, mulch are doing okay. 
they'll do better once I harvest these green beans and pull them out. I think what I might do, consider doing, is taking these and transplanting them over to here. And uh, after I pull the green, these carrots out, I'm going to plant green beans, get my second harvest out of those. The peppers have really gotten bushy. Um, they're much more bushier than uh, last year um, or the previous years. This is the year that I, I topped them off to uh, help them get uh, more side growth. So they're coming along really good. One thing I'm going to do is when they get to be about a foot tall, I'm going to put in some uh, netting, some of that trellis netting. I'm going to stake out a corner, each corner and about halfway across the bed and put that horizontal so that they grow. They'll grow through that uh, netting and have, that'll help support them uh, in case we get strong winds or heavy rains. They won't get beat down or knocked over. The potatoes have been flowering, so we've got these nice little violet flowers. You can see we've got bugs. We've got bugs, so I sprayed this morning. I use uh, seven. Good for everything, good for what ails you. And this is what ails me right now. So, apparently we've got potato bugs or something crawling around in there, eating all kinds of stuff. So hopefully that'll take care of them. And the green beans have been flowering. It's about that time where we get all kinds of flowers and then within uh, maybe 10 days to 10 to 14 days, we get uh, green beans that'll be ready to pick. We'll pick them for a week and then pull these out, plant more. I also put these uh, two new boxes in today. This is a four foot box. I have yellow uh, green zucchini on the outside and the yellow squash on the middle, in the middle. And then over here I have from left to right I've got cucumber, cucumber, acorn squash, and acorn squash. So we'll see how these do. I uh, filled the beds with, uh, I sifted the mulch again to get some of that material and mixed in some peat moss with it. All right, so there it is. That's my fourth update of the season. Peppers, onions, tomatoes, green beans, uh, sugar, uh, or uh, yeah, sugar peas, and carrots. All doing well. Everything's coming along really nicely. That's the fourth update, and we'll be back in about 10 days or so. Thanks for watching.